that. Um, can you give us some team news ahead of the Kilmarnock game on Sunday? Yeah, well, we've had everybody training this morning, which is fantastic. We've full squad to pick from, so we're delighted with that. Obviously, hopefully you don't pick Anton up tomorrow, but everybody should be available in the squad, so you know, it's a good position to be in going into the game. Definitely, and obviously the last time that uh, Hibernian were there evoked a lot of happy memories now. Um, is that something we're going to try and repeat, or you know, Kilmarnock may be out for Revenge, yeah, I think so. We've we've had tight games against them this year. We've come out on the right side a couple of times, you know. So it's a uh, it's obviously a difficult venue, like I said. And I think the the one thing is there's you know, probably, probably a lot of young players on view. Um, you know, there seem to be a lot of young players in the team at the moment, and we've had a few in over the last few weeks. So um, it should be an entertaining game. They want to come and play the game in the right way, and we'll go there, show you in the game. You mentioned the influence of of youth, and um, but we here at Hibernian have that as well. And um, Ross Caldwell scored basically his first touch at the weekend and then scored another two during the week. Does that give you something of a headache? Yeah, it does. And like I said, we want to try to get Ross on the team between now and the end of the same season, to be honest. He's uh, obviously with Danny and Alex coming in and doing really well for us. Um, Ross you know, probably had a little dip in the course of the season, but over the last month, six weeks, he's come back and he's been really strong and trained really well. And he deserves a crack and he will get a game between now and the end of the season. We'll see. How, how you know how it is for tomorrow for for Sunday's game, but you know between now and the end of the season he'll definitely play. The team seems to have struck a great balance between youth and experience during the season, and you know utilising players like Alex Harris and and players like that. And have you been impressed by the way you know they've integrated with the team? Yeah, I think both Danny and Alex are you know they're good players, but they're also level-headed boys. They don't you know they don't get carried away with playing; they enjoy it, and I'm, I'm sure they're, they're they're loving it at the moment, but. You know, I think off the pitches they they're 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 good lads. They know how to handle that pressure and they've you know good character. So that's important as well. We manage that side and we try to help them along the way. Like I said, if you know people start to notice them now and they've played a few games and you know, hopefully they they stay in the team over the course of their next few games and it's dealing with that as a player how how you'll develop then you know come back and for the start of next season to make sure that if you've been in the team leaving that you want to make sure you're in it again and getting into the team sometimes is is probably the easy bit. Is staying in it is the hard bit where you got. I think, well, I'm in the team now, but I need to work harder to make sure I stay in it.